Today has thrown some challenges in my direction. Let me show you what I mean. This car is not happy. It started on four cylinders. It has already resorted to three now and now two. <laughs> so I'm driving to the garage. I'm gonna get a loaner car and then we'll go to Maastricht because it is Monday. And for some reason, I'm not looking forward to today. Can you tell why? It has been the worst autumn I've ever encountered. Horrible weather. Okay, one loner. Well, it cars. Not the biggest fan, but it cars. So on the way to Maastricht for our last Maastricht walk. You take it away. Hello, rainy Monday morning. I think your camera's wet. Yep, special effects. <laughs> Get ready for some uh, Helliness Deluxe. Now we have two uh, mountains that we're gonna climb. Uh, this is actually the route that I always walked during Corona, COVID. Uh, this is actually also the time that uh, Stein and I decided to go for the Monday walks because we didn't have anything to do. And the weather was pretty impressive in a good way. Back so um, yeah, we actually, uh, had a lot of coffee, a lot of steps, and a lot of sun. So, uh, hooray for COVID. Hooray for COVID. Four years later, we're still walking, and I would like to specify, I was just thinking about this while you was talking. The Dutch actually call these mountains, mountains. We do have a separate word for mountain and hill, but the definitely not mountains that we're gonna visit are both called mountain. I didn't make it up. We're very proud. We have the Connerberg, the Conner Mountain. The Conner Mountain. And we have the St. Petersberg, so the St. Peter's Mountain. Mountain. Um, and we're gonna see both today. They probably will be even more wet and windy as this trail is already in the city. But hey, it will be at least as pretty. Oh, we'll we... be an adventure. <laughs> Up for an adventure. A wet venture. A wet venture. They killed Kenny. Yes. Oh my god, they killed Stein. <laughs> we are entering the new recently opened gate of the Tongsweg Cemetery. Oh. It's a lovely, lovely place. I actually love cemeteries. I'm the Rob Camps of Maastricht. Uh, let's go and see some dead famous people. The famous Mr. Menkeleers in the flesh, no, in the bones. But this is where they actually do this uh, bury. Uh, everybody who ever visited Maastricht, the marketplace of Maastricht, knows this guy. At least his statue. It usually uh, has a torch with a real flame. But nowadays you have to pay money and yeah. You better buy beer for that, so the flame is always off. But uh, yeah, bye bye. What, uh, what did you do? He uh, lit up the city center with his torch. That's what he did. And no, not arson. He did it with the uh, lanterns. This is this is the legal way to uh, torch to light the, the city, city center. center. Mr. Minkelers. Joop, in the meantime, is doing some fact checking because he wants to make sure he got his facts right. Otherwise, the people from Maastricht will fight him. Jean-Pierre Menkelers, uh, born and baptized in Maastricht and buried as we just saw. Uh, he actually was a scientist and an inventor. The guy invented gas lighting. So uh, he's actually really important, not only for this city, but for all cities um, in the surrounding region. If you're not sure about that, it may be you gaslighting you. We can never know for certain, can we?
this must be the most remarkable grave ever. It actually translates, here lies nobody, until 2038. A friend of mine actually once called the, uh, the board of the cemetery for some information and asked if it's really an empty grave and they said it is but uh, for privacy reasons of course they couldn't name the owner so uh, if anybody has any clue who owns this grave and who already knows that he's gonna die in 2038 that's almost as remarkable I think uh, just give us a heads up put your telephone number in the description or maybe if it's you send us a video and tell us why you're gonna die in 38. We have left the cemetery behind and we're now gonna concuss some um, mountains, <laughs> he says, while slipping and catching himself. Don't laugh! Have some, have some respect! <laughs> the streets are flooding. Can you be flooding? Ooh. I'm sorry, by the way, for the black spots in the video every now and then i'm very much wearing gloves and they are a bit large for the gopro so i'm gonna try and edit them out as much as possible but if you see some black smudges hi it's me it's a dangerous road it's a treacherous road it's a wet road <laughs> we are climbing that's in peter which you saw in the last video and uh, Joop is down there, being that's all small. Saint Peter. That's uh, Wolof. Is that not St. Peter? That's St. Peter. Oh. That's St. Peter that you saw in the last video. That's also cute white houses. And that's you being all small. Welcome at the beautiful Apostelhoeve. Wine house uh, since 1970. It's the biggest one in uh, Maastricht. I think also the biggest wine uh, producer in the Netherlands, but I'm not sure. But check this view. It's on the sunny side of the Kannenberg with a very nice view of the Mergelweg and the St. Petersberg. We will go there later. There's also Chateau Nerkan. It's not a winemaker, but it's a restaurant. And very soon, also a small hotel, but it's amazeballs. It's the only terrace castle chateau in the Netherlands, so very special. But first, the winery. Then you remember that story that I told you about uh, the Sphinx? Yeah, while we were there, yeah. Yeah, there was uh, a legend, at least a friend of me once told me, that uh, the Sphinx had a really big... Um, uh, rebirth after uh, World War II because they had a depot just outside of Maastricht that was filled with porcelain uh, that was used uh, to rebuild a lot of things in the Netherlands. Uh, actually if you look closely uh, at the right side of that white building over there uh, that was where the depot and I think a small uh, factory but I'm not sure uh, of the Sphinx was. Up high! What? And it's not comfortable at all! What? Aha. Millennium Forest. We have a very short word for that. Bush! Millennium Bush. This actually uh, is a... What? Struggle. This is a struggle, that's what it is. Stan, are you cold? Ah. <laughs> okay, welcome to the Millennium Forest. Opened in the year... Woo. Good guess, 2000. There actually uh, is an initiative of the local uh, broadcaster L1. They had the idea to plant uh, 365 trees in several regions in, the, in Limburg. Uh, and they also did it here. There was a really big initiative here. 4,000 people uh, gathered money uh, and now are shareholder of the Millennium Forest. It's uh, five hectares that was opened in 2000 but they actually added another nine hectares of forest in the year 2013 why because the king willem alexander tunnel project started they um, 
they cut away a lot of uh, ground, houses, nature uh, around the A2 highway area. And to compensate that, they added nine hectares of forest here. So we have a really big 14 hectare forest on top of the Kannerberg, which is really beautiful. Uh, we're gonna walk through it. Even without leaves, it's very impressive. There are a lot of lanes, I think five or so. And with good weather, if you stand in the end of one lane and look through it, you can see a landmark in the end. If anybody sees the landmark, just give me a call because I only see more trees. Better. <laughs> well, this field is mostly sheep shit. So we're trying to not slip in the mud, not step in the sheep shit. And in the meantime, the wind is blowing the very cold, icy rain into our faces. They did predict snow for tonight. So you can't, we don't have smell a vision. Smell is fine, by the way. We also don't have feel a vision. It's not comfy. This is, this is not what we want walking to be like at all. But today it is. I'm in a hole. And this hole was once used by uh, the first people to live or to settle in uh, the Maastricht environment. And this is where they stored their crap, which is very useful because... 4000 BC. 4000 BC. Because that meant they could find a lot of stuff. Turns out these people were pottery makers. They made pots and they lived around this area. And what you see here, these, these rocks, they sort of mark out the foundation of, uh, of, of some of the houses. So these are actually rooms. This is a room and this is a tiny little room. They were probably very tiny little people. And uh, yeah, but this is where, uh, where the settlements in Maastricht started in 4000 BC. 5000 BC. 5000 BC. So we could have read that before we started this video, but now you know. Where are we going, Joop? Uh, Chateau Nirkan. Joop just said something he doesn't say very often. He said, I have no idea how to get there every time. Let's see if we get it right this time. So. This is going to be exciting. We may get lost in a, in a forest. Are you Hans or Gretel? I'm uh, Super Joe. Super Joe. Joop is still not sure if he's going the right direction, but it is indeed a lovely forest. And the camera doesn't really do it justice. I'm going to try to color it a bit in post, but the light is beautiful and warm here. And none of that bluish stuff you see icy on the screen. We're trying to find the chateau because it's a beautiful chateau as well. Yup, my dude, you did it. I see a very recognizable roof there that apparently they're working on. That's a pity, but... They're building uh, seven chambers to sleep in. Right. Like a small luxury hotel. So they're isolating the roof, I guess. I don't want to say this out loud before I'm on level ground again. So that's about now. I'm really happy with how my shoes are coping today. Ladies and gentlemen, Chateau Nirkan. And more Chateau Nirkan. Let's go there. <laughs> this does not feel stable, but it's the best view we're going to get. Unfortunately, there's scaffolding. We love to show you the gorgeous castle, but right now it looks a bit disheveled. But that is Chateau Nercan. That is the St. Petersburg with a coffee point marked by the chimney. And that there, is that Eben Yes, it is. That's Belgium. That is not the Maas. That is the canal. What's cooking? Ik denk dat ik vandaag nog red om op tijd daar te zijn, maar dan kom ik hem morgen halen. Dankjewel. Oké, okay, fijne dag. Hoi hoi. 193 euro's, but I should have a car again. Dring, dring. Dring, dring. Hello, this is the Kremlin speaking. Is it? No. But it's another closed fence. This actually was NATO's headquarters from the 50s until the early 90s. So I still remember the 90s. Yeah, same. Maybe because it's, I'm old. But um, yeah, there was the headquarters uh, who uh, would prevent us for the Cold War that never came here, lucky enough. It's the idea of a Cold War, yeah. though, that it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> But it's, uh, it housed uh, three to 400 people on a daily base. There was a restaurant inside, there was a bar, there even was a barber shop, a saloon and a salon. 
uh, and a lot of offices. I was inside here, uh, I think last year, two years ago, there was an art project. You could enter uh, at a really big part of the, the inside and it was all lit. Uh, with green uh, lightning, so it looked really fancy. It actually also uh, had a big vault that housed the Rembrandt van Rijn uh, Nightwatch painting. At least that's the story that they told me. So a lot of history inside the mountain as well. Nirkan, Millennium Forest, NATO Base. Uh, I think we covered the Kannenbergstein. Let's go to the other side. The Koffieberg. This coffee better be worth it. It is once more the Yeko River, at least we think so. It smells like the Yeko. Yeah, judging by the smell, it can only be one river. That's the Millennium Forest we came from. There's a little NATO base, or large NATO base. And where are we going, Joop? To the St. Peter's Mountain. Woohoo! Scottish weather. Oh, shite, shite. You just said if that coffee place is closed now, I'm gonna. What are you gonna do? I don't know, I'm too cold to think about that. Freeze then, probably. Mwah. Ha. Ha, it's the Devil's Cave. And they've closed it because, as you've just told me, apparently some shady shit was happening there. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And now it's a nice, calm place for the bats to sleep. To the Bat Cave! Coffee. You've just told me. You know you haven't filmed the entire Peter's bag at all, right? And indeed I didn't. We're on it now, but you don't really notice because it's a pretty mild incline continuously. So we're now on the St. Peter's Berg, St. Pete's Mountain. We're gonna go down the St. Pete Pete's Mountain again, and then I have a second chance to film it, don't I? Yes. Everything will be okay. Really hard to capture on video, but in real life this is a beautiful dark red color. Um, underneath the trees. Not so much in the trees, they are uh, very bare, but uh, we are at the foot of St. Pete's Hill. Joop is uh, fixing his uh, wardrobe and uh, we are now very close to the coffee which can be had near the Ensi quarry there again. This lake is very clear and usually really pretty and blue looking but of course not today because we all know where the blue comes from. It's the skies and they are not particularly blue now but that that is the NC uh, buildings and you can see a little light there which means there will be coffee. The little Citroen HY van is usually where we get our coffee but that is closed now. But we see lights on in the building. Oh, and an open door. And an open door I think. Oh, oh. I think we have found some warmth. You uh, you speeding up. And it's here all about. Coffee. All of our wet stuff is now drying because there's a heater there, and we're waiting for coffee and cake because we deserve it, didn't you? I said I wouldn't get cake because I was like I need something nutritious, but then I saw the cake. <laughs> then cake happened. Then cake happened. Whew. It's a toasty 19 degrees in here and my hair looks flat. Oh. <sighs> the perks of wandering in Limburg. This is as calm as we're gonna be. My hands are sort of warming up. Uh, I told him we would start walking again at 15 minutes past the hour. So two minutes. Two minutes and counting. Yep. We are carrying on. One last view of St. Peter's Mountain and then onwards. I managed to somewhat wear my gloves again. They seem to have shrunk somehow. I'm not sure what's going on. We used the, the hand dryer on the, on the bathroom of the establishment. And while it was blowing into the glove, I put it on. And it, it sort of worked, but they're not, they, they don't feel quite right. Maybe my hands grew very quickly. That would be okay. Although that wouldn't mean I now need new gloves. You just said he never walked up here. So this could be interesting, or a dead end. This is a proper climb, Joop. 
Yes. Stretching the muscles. Stretching the muscles. I must say I'm surprised how easily I'm still walking after sitting down for probably a bit too long. I'm cold. What? I'm very cold now. It's cold. Yeah, it was nice and warm in there. Well, it was 19 degrees, but that seems very warm now. A waterfall. It's a lake. You wouldn't know it because everything is grey and miserable, but the sun is setting on Chateau Nircan and we are looking at our walk that we took so far. But we're not there yet. What did you just realize, Joop? We're not gonna see the mass today. But still plenty of water. Mm -hmm. My goodness. But look at the view. It's a gorgeous forest. Is this still the Millennium Forest? No, no. This I is was Peter's wondering. Forest. St. Peter's Berg Forest, of course. On St. Peter's Mountain, there's a mountain that was made by the Spaniards. We don't know, this. We, just, we just read it here. In the, in the Middle Ages. And uh, apparently there was also a castle on this. But they only found foundations of the tower. Now looking at the size of this, this hill, which isn't that large, could it be that it was only a tower? I don't know, but hey, it'd be a hill on a hill. Yo dog, we heard you like hills, so we put a hill. You just had the luminous idea to uh, go down here, <laughs> which is uh, a path coming. made for bikes and horses, quite steep and quite muddy. Well, well that, would, that will help us get down fast, I think. The floor is lava. The floor is lava. lava. After you, my lord. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're, You're too kind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> we made it. Mosquitoes, for some reason. Yeah, it feels like summer, isn't it? After you, my lord. Okay, check out this map. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Careful thing to hang on to. Should stuff go wrong. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> uh, still, still standing. Uh. There's one positive point to this. Jesus is coming soon. <gasps> He's just waiting for the weather to uh, to dry. Also, I just found the limits of my gloves. They are now not wet on the inside. Oh my God. the scaffolding, yeah. Actually, uh, this is a very small, it's Hoover Khan, very small winery. Actually, three here, within uh, 200 meters. And a very nice- old Reliant winter. Scimitar, hello. Winery, small one. We saw the Apostelhofe on top of the hill. That's actually on that side. We're going back to that direction. Follow me, there's more. Also, the raindrop just touched the screen and it's now changed the exposure. Sorry for that. <laughs> so, like we said earlier, the Sphinx had a bit of storage here. And it's right there. We can't see it up close because fence. But that's a little factory. The usually calm and cute little stream that is the Yeka. It's not very cute and calm right now. We need a raft. Also, I don't think this is a very stable bridge, is it? <laughs> Three, two, one, where we? Are you counting with me? One winery. Ha, ha, ha. We have uh, the smallest one. The rather big one, Hoover Nekem. And Stan, uh, look what's behind you, man. Wine! The Postenhoeve, we're back. Uh, we're actually climbing the steep, muddy side of the mountain now because it's the shortcut. And <laughs> hopefully, you enjoyed our shortcut just now. Yeah, our decline. Man, if this goes wrong, we are being mud monsters. It's all gonna go downhill from here. But it's downhill to beer, so that's a good thing. Also, it's uphill to downhill. Or is it downhill to uphill? Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.
it's autumn and it smells of very very Whoa. acid manure here i thought it was you but it's not so he's not dying but some cow maybe Whoa. strong stuff <laughs> this is about as much mass as we're gonna see during this walk Maastricht the sign but speaking of wet things i see civilization and i know what that means we are close to our well-deserved brew bro first check out the beautiful town of Walden. it's a bit grayer than we would like it to be hey pumpkins these people are still living in autumn but these are the streets of old Walder. unfortunately the cars Walder. always older the cars <laughs> give away that it's not 19 51 or 1771 or whatever but it's a cute little village I see that people again but it looks like we made a youp made me thirsty we tried to uh, to film a little more water than we did but the weather and the traffic and the building works didn't really allow so we're going straight to the beer now <laughs> Provided it's open. What do you think, you? There's a light. Looks like a cafe to me. <coughs> oh. People of the internet. This is what a wet <laughs> but satisfied man looks like. Oh. In an attempt to be social, we left our coats outside so they wouldn't drip on the floor. But they're so cold now, you have no idea. <laughs> Let's go. Home. Let's go. We had a beer. You had two beers. I had a beer and a coffee. Let's go. It got worse. It got much worse! Switching to mobile phone because the GoPro cannot handle the dark. This is a really cute bit though. I also can't handle the dark. Uh, I can't handle the dark. the rain? All the same. There's a very cute bit with some old houses here. We would have loved to show you properly, but of course we were, we were too busy drinking beer. What, what did you find? Elections. Elections? You found elections! Oh, yeah, it's a red pencil of our elections. Um, the good news Pencil is... Pencil of doom! This, this is definitely after these last elections. This is uh, close to Joop's house, so we are just walking for a bit. How long? 15 minutes? Approximately. Yeah, and then... Uh, uh, then back to the car. My car is fixed now, so... Uh, back to the shower! I can... I can are you going to shower? Oh, yes. I, I may do the same. Oh. My car is uh, going to be picked up tomorrow, because obviously the garage is closed now. It's 5.30. It was a nice walk though, you, wasn't it? It actually was. It, uh, How are we going to do this outro with no light? Let's give it a shot. I'm going to have to use this camera. Okay, what do we have to say? Uh, if it wasn't for this video, I would have stayed home. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> that's actually not true. We would have walked, we would have stayed in town. This yeah. is all for you, viewers. Ah, home. Home. We would have stayed in, in Maastricht City. I would walking in my home. I'm not gonna lie, I did enjoy the walk. There was loads of variety, the leaves were beautiful, we had a nice coffee and cake, we had a good beer. And there was beer. no one out. <laughs> that was, we were literally, we, we saw maybe four people and they were in groups of two. No, two runners and, and a group of two one runner. Walkers. Yeah. And we saw uh, three. one uh, couple, but it was uh, still in civilized uh, part of uh, nature. Yeah, we went way too far, but we had a good time, we had a good walk, it was healthy. My nose is all clean now. Oh, uh, let's hope for autumn. Next, let's hope for autumn. Uh, I mean, uh, spring. Yeah, right. We got winter first, but um, oh. <laughs> the good news is, if the weather report is correct, which it never is, there's a little bit of sun next week. So with that, Yeehaw. are we crossing the border to Belgium? Yes, we are. Next week, we'll be in Belgium. Crossing borders. Here we go. Bye bye. We have walked there before, we will walk there again, that's not in the last series.
it's not the two of the mercy. This feels a bit treacherous. Shall we go down again? <laughs> oh, okay. Before we blow off our bench, go ahead. You first. Me first, okay. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> Hi.